Entropy, denoted by S, is a fundamental concept in thermodynamics that measures the disorder or randomness within a closed system. Now, what happens to this entropy at absolute zero or zero Kelvin? First, let's talk about the third law of thermodynamics. This law states that as the temperature of a closed system approaches absolute zero, its entropy approaches a constant value. At absolute zero, a system is in its ground state, meaning it has the minimum possible energy. If this ground state is unique, like in a perfect crystal, the entropy at absolute zero is exactly zero. But not all systems have such a well-defined order. For example, glassy materials can have residual entropy even at absolute zero. This happens because of non-minimal energy configurations or multiple ground states. But here's the catch. According to the unattainability principle, cooling a system to absolute zero requires an infinite number of steps or infinite time. So no process, no matter how idealized, can reduce entropy to its absolute zero value in a finite number of steps. Einstein also contributed to this topic, noting that as temperature approaches absolute zero, the entropy of any substance approaches a finite value and its heat capacity must vanish uniformly. While reaching absolute zero might be impossible, understanding the behavior of entropy at these extreme conditions unveils the intricate beauty of thermodynamics. Can we actually achieve absolute zero temperature? In theory, reaching absolute zero or zero Kelvin is an exciting concept, but practical limitations prevent us from achieving it completely. Let's explore why. According to the third law of thermodynamics, as temperature approaches absolute zero, the entropy of a system approaches a constant value. However, reaching absolute zero requires an infinite number of steps, making it practically unattainable. There are several challenges to consider. Cooling processes have practical limits, such as those seen in adiabatic cooling. Additionally, quantum effects like zero-point energy prevent particles from coming to a complete standstill. Despite these challenges, scientists have come remarkably close to absolute zero using advanced techniques like laser cooling and evaporative cooling. The current record is around 100 picokelvins or 100 trillionths of a degree above absolute zero. This brings us to the concept of zero-point energy, a quantum mystery that adds another layer of complexity. Zero-point energy, ZPE, also known as quantum vacuum zero-point energy, represents the lowest possible energy that a quantum mechanical system can have. In quantum systems, unlike classical mechanics, fluctuations occur even in the ground state due to their wave-like nature. At absolute zero temperature, atoms and molecules still possess vibrational motion because of zero-point energy. Even the empty space of the vacuum has zero-point energy. According to quantum field theory, the universe consists of fluctuating fields, both matter and force fields, with associated zero-point energy. Zero-point energy also holds significant implications in cosmology. However, we currently lack a complete theoretical model to fully understand it. The discrepancy between theorized and observed vacuum energy in the universe remains a major puzzle. While zero-point energy would theoretically gravitate according to general relativity, experimental evidence shows its effect to be exceptionally weak. The cosmological constant problem, a major unsolved mystery, continues to puzzle scientists. Let's embark on a hypothetical journey into a world where we achieve this elusive temperature absolute zero. In our idealized scenario, we cool a perfect crystal like a diamond or silicon to absolute zero. At zero Kelvin, all thermal motion ceases and the crystal's atoms align perfectly in their ground state. Entropy reaches its minimum and disorder vanishes. In this realm, quantum effects dominate. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle ensures that particles still exhibit zero-point energy. Virtual particle-antiparticle pairs pop in and out of existence, contributing to vacuum fluctuation. The universe itself has a zero-point energy associated with its fields, gravitational, electromagnetic and beyond. Achieving absolute zero would alter this cosmic energy balance, presenting a universe we can only imagine superconductors would operate without resistance, enabling lossless energy transmission. Quantum computers would exploit coherent quantum states for unprecedented computational power, revolutionizing technology as we know it. However, cooling processes have their limits. Adiabatic cooling approaches but never truly reaches absolute zero. Zero-point energy remains, preventing a true energy vacuum. 
What mysteries lie beyond absolute zero? Does a hidden realm emerge? Perhaps new physics awaits exotic particles, phase transitions, or cosmic revelations. At absolute zero, matter would exhibit fascinating behavior due to the cessation of thermal motion, perfect crystals would have all atoms aligned in their ground state, and entropy would be minimized, resulting in perfect order. Despite zero temperature, zero point energy remains due to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Virtual particle-antiparticle pairs continue to fluctuate in and out of existence. Superconductivity would be prevalent, allowing electric current to flow without resistance, and superfluids like liquid helium would exhibit frictionless flow. Atoms and molecules would cease vibrating, translating, and rotating. No thermal energy means no kinetic motion. The universe itself has zero-point energy associated with quantum fields. Absolute zero would alter this cosmic energy balance. In this hypothetical world, we glimpse the profound and mysterious nature of our universe. What are some practical implications of the third law of thermodynamics? Let's delve into how this fundamental principle shapes various scientific and engineering domains. Cryogenics and superconductivity. The third law guides the design of cryogenic systems which are used in low temperature applications. Achieving ultra-low temperatures near absolute zero allows for practical applications like superconductors which exhibit zero electrical resistance. This means energy can be transmitted with no loss, revolutionizing power grids and magnetic levitation technologies. Materials, science and phase transitions. Understanding entropy behavior at low temperatures helps predict phase transitions such as solid to liquid or liquid to gas. This knowledge leads to the discovery of materials with unique properties, such as quantum magnets or Bose-Einstein condensates. These materials have potential applications in advanced computing and new forms of matter, chemical reactions and kinetics. At extremely low temperatures, chemical reactions slow down significantly. Studying reaction rates near absolute zero provides insights into reaction mechanisms that are not observable at higher temperatures. This helps chemists design more efficient catalysts and understand fundamental aspects of chemical bonding, astrophysics and cosmology. The third law impacts our understanding of stellar evolution and black holes. In certain regions of space, cosmic objects approach absolute zero affecting their behavior. This has implications for our theories about the life cycles of stars and the nature of black holes, contributing to our broader understanding of the universe. Entropy and information theory. Entropy is also a key concept in information theory, where it quantifies uncertainty and randomness. Practical applications include data compression and error correction codes, which are essential for efficient communication and data storage in our digital age. The third law of thermodynamics not only deepens our theoretical understanding of the universe, but also drives practical advancements that impact our daily lives.